tutorial where you on converting your existing projects um, from you know just whatever system that you've been using or if you're using no system to using the client first slash reloom library um, so before we begin um, just some important notes the first thing you will have to go in and um, copy the Reloom's you know style guide of course because that's what we're going to be replacing the our existing ones with and hopefully you're using a uh, style guide on all your sites um, and then another thing um, I know some of you have been trying to use the uh, use like a separate you know create like a new project and then paste everything over onto like you know a project that has like hosting on it and you've probably been um, experiencing the issue where you have the styles are not like showing up correctly and things getting jumbled up and you're you know you're probably getting really frustrated with that and uh, yeah, I understand so uh, I'm gonna take you through and show you how to do everything correctly all right so uh, first before I uh, go ahead and you know do everything I know I have this button uh, style here I have this button in here where do I have a regular I have a regular button I'm just gonna remove it because I'm going to change everything here yesterday I just know that this style is conflicting so first we're gonna go over here and to the uh, library clone here um, is basically the style guide and here is um, everything that's been set up for us basically gonna click on the page wrapper command C copy head back to my dashboard now paste this over and this right here um, is bringing back memories one of my like my oldest uh, word uh, webflow project shoot I think I'm thinking about you know back in the day um, <laughs> saying that I'm and I'm young as I am um, so there we go and it's pasted in uh, we will have to make some adjustments here to uh, coincide with um, you know the uh, client first system which is like converting these to um, rims because that was obviously not taken over by um, the the clone that we pasted over so we can go ahead and uh, you know get that done okay I believe it's oh wait made a mistake made a mistake already I made a mistake already Make sure you select your all headings tag. Um, again, don't make the same mistakes. Uh, let's see, what is it? I think it's 2.5. If I'm not mistaken. Okay. Just going in here. Uh, if I remember this correctly, yes, I thought it was two. to well that would be embarrassing um, and then uh, 
think it's 1.3 negative, right? Uh, and then 1.5, and then 1.35, great. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys can kind of see me getting ahead of myself. Of course, I want that to be bold. All right, so. Again, I must say, do that to myself. All right. So that part is done. You know, I could go in and customize further, but um, we got a whole tutorial to get through. So um, the next thing we're going to do is go page by page and delete everything. Oh, and by the way, in case you don't have like mock ups of the design that you did um, or whatever, you know, make sure you, you know, copy your, you know, duplicate the site and, you know, had that up in a different tab. Um, I would just go off the top of my head, but it doesn't matter. Um, but I'm just going to stick to this. Um, this site's actually going to be redesigned within like the next few months, whatever. The client actually uh, sits down and tells me what he wants and stops um, going in and messing with, uh, you know, just it's a whole thing when clients decide that they're um, expert designers. So, okay, thank you for loading very fastly, Webflow. I appreciate it. Um, <laughs> All right, so we're good here. So now we're just going to go in to, you know, the Reloom library and basically wireframe our page here so i gotta find something that suits me all right now i don't see anything and i do there we go now before i forget we got a little bit of setup to do speaking of which i'll go to the page wrapper here and uh, I'm going to create a new symbol slash CSS. Great. All right. And go back home. I'm going to then, you know, do the page wrapper. And then once I do that, I'm going to go ahead, get my global CSS. Put that in there and then we can paste our header in because we don't put our headers inside the main tag um, okay so now that we have this I want to get my nav bar as well um, so I'm gonna browse components nav bars all right all right where do I want to paste this Let's see. We're gonna have to change that container small though um, to something more desirable. All right, uh, and just before I forget, um, I like container large to start. Mm. All right, so we got our basically our header uh, built out here. All right, and then what we're going to do is I'm going to go and really I'm going to go to all components. I want to see what we have because the next thing would be uh, in this section is going to be like this two column thing. And I see that T removed. Yeah. Uh, you know, you make videos and do all this stuff for these guys. 
and they then they just move, you know don't you know listen to a thing but uh anyway i digress so we have this two column thing going on so i'll um, search two columns i know one there's one that has sort of the layout that i like here so i'm just going to take the time to you know search for that one um uh, there we go And we'll go back here. Now, um, inside our page wrapper, we'll create a div block, and this will be our main wrapper. And of course, you'll give it the main tag. Inside that main wrapper, you can paste in your new section. I'll get rid of anything that I don't need. And this is fine for, yeah, this is fine for now. Now, the next section is just a one column little duba, Terry, uh, or Colt. Um, I don't know why he liked that section. I'm still, like, internally arguing with him <laughs> about this um, to this day in my head. But, again, I digress. Do 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 uh, Terry. Okay, um, I guess this will do. And we'll make some uh, adjustments here. Alright. And so yeah, we'll make some adjustments uh, such as background color. And then of course um, I could you know instead of uh, I could do that instead of uh, applying the things um, vertical uh, let's see what we get with uh, yeah that'll do for now I can't I'm not gonna be too nitpicky Hmm, this one's gonna be unique. So, what I'm going to do is look for um, CTAs that I know this would be faster, Chris, if you just... trying to search do less work as possible um, so it looks like nope so I'll just copy this and then I will make adjustments to it again you know the library is going to only do so much of the work for you so I just think that uh, you know it's your prerogative to get as much, um, you know, set up as you can, and so, yeah, that'll do. And like I said, I'll make um, adjustments to this. And then I just need my footer. <laughs> All right, and man, let's see what I uh, like. This is something uh, that'll do better. 
and I can go ahead and really delete what I do not need. Component and just uh, background. And again, you know, change the to save myself some trouble. And I know that there is a line divider, color is going to be white, or whatever the padding vertical is going to be padding large. You know, all right, you know, just something, um, just something so it stays smooth. So basically, you know, I have my page here, I've already, you know, wireframed and uh, mocked it up. Sorry about that, if any weird distortion came through. And so only thing, you know, you would just do from here is start uh, styling. And I know that some of you are like, oh man, I, I really, I really don't wanna, you know, start from scratch. Man, this kinda sucks. Well, it doesn't, I mean, look here. Just in a matter of like minutes, um, I have everything that I need to start uh, building out my home page. Nearly, only thing I have to do is tweak, you know, everything to my liking. I put in all the content and, you know, do the styling. And, you know, before long, you know, you got your, your page. And then the best part about this also is that you have, you know, it's responsive. It's already responsive. So, you know, even though it is responsive again, you'll have to do a little tweaking, but hey, think of the time that you just saved um, converting this project over. Like there's very little that you have to do other than to like really style it, you know, um to match your designs and you know um yeah just you know just the tinkering with the duba you know and that's all you have to do so i hope you guys found this helpful and if you have any questions please reach out to me um either on the reloom library slack twitter wherever um you know i'm always available thank you guys you guys have a nice day